guys, I'm Leslie and I like to make things. Gotta work around the basement up. Oh, there's some more. There we go. For this project, I made another 3D album cover. My husband wanted to add to his Rush 3D album cover collection. This time he asked me to make Test for Echo by Rush. So let's check it out, guys. So I'm starting this project by using this reference photo just to size my rock guy. So my first plan is to cut all the rock shapes out and then size my clay to each rock shape. I quickly decide that's not gonna happen. And then I come up with another plan with the armature and they decide that's not gonna happen. But I wanted to leave these pieces in just to show you that sometimes it takes a few attempts to start a project and that's okay. You're gonna get there, you gotta figure it out. So here's the armature that I'm making. So armatures are actually a great way to start a clay project to make a figure but for this guy my armature is not going to work because I need to form all these rocks individually and that's not going to work with the armature in my head so I'm going to save this armature for a future use but this is how I made my little armature guy all right take three so I decide to make each rock individually I am using aluminum foil clay and toothpicks with a little bit of bacon bond or Sculpty adhesive. I am using Sculpey brand polymer clay. This is a type of clay that you bake to harden. It's super fun and easy to work with. So I'm gonna speed through this process because I'm making rocks here, my friends, and I'm not sure how exciting it is to watch me make rocks. But the trick is I'm trying to make these rocks look as close as I can to the rocks in the photo. That's trickier than you think. I'm getting my initial shape by squeezing up some aluminum foil, and then I might use a little masking tape to hold that aluminum foil in place, and then I am using my pasta maker to flatten some clay, and then I'm going to mold that over. Then I'm gonna stab some toothpicks in, hoping not to stab myself, and this is how I'm placing my pieces together. So I totally ignore any of those paper cutouts that I cut in the beginning, and I'm just using the visual of the photo I printed and eyeballing it. This is actually working out really well and taking shape. I'm getting excited. I'm using a variety of tools to get the shape I want. I'm using some ball stylus, different shapes, some different shaper shapes, as well as a paintbrush. I'm now using my carving tool to sand some edges. Texturizing the clay to make these rocks is surprisingly super fun and relaxing. Trees and rocks are something I've always loved to make, whether it's clay or painting. Not painting actual rocks. Well, I like the two. It's actually, my family likes to rock paint and uh, especially one of my sons. He loves to find rocks and to paint rocks. Actually, he probably likes the finding of painted rocks more so. That's a really fun thing to do with a family. Paint some rocks and then go on a walk and place those rocks where other people can find them. Tin foil is a great tool to use to texturize your pieces. Working on this headpiece next, kind of like the head of the rock guy. I'm really trying to get it as close to the shape as I possibly can. Mm -hmm. 
This grinder carving tool is so fun to use. All right, it's now time to paint my friend here. Grabbing some different paint. I got some brown, yellow, red, black, some paintbrushes, some water. I start with giving this rock guy some undertones of blacks and browns. I'm adding some reds and yellows to the rocks. All rocks have a little bit of reds, yellows, browns, grays, blacks. If you look closely, they'll all have a little touch of all these colors. It's now time to dry brush, which is a really fun technique where you just use a little bit of paint on your brush. You wanna dab your brush into your paint and then on a piece of paper or paper towel, wipe off most of the paint. And then you lightly go over your piece and it catches all the raised surfaces of your sculpture and this will give it really awesome highlights. I continue dry brushing until I get the look I want to achieve. Easy peasy. Those of you who have this album, have you noticed that there's like these little rock climbers on the rocks? Well, now I'm gonna attempt to make those guys. So I'm trying to make these teeny little guys by bending this floor wire into little people shapes. I'm gonna zoom through these parts because it's kind of hard to focus on such a small little part. Lots of trial and error to get these people to bend correctly. So what I'm doing here is just adding a little bit of liquid Sculpey to my wire guy, just to give them a little bit of surface area that I can paint. So I'm gonna bake these guys at 275 for about five minutes at the most. Here are my little guys all baked and I'm gonna trim their arms. Ow! Ow! I painted my first little guy yellow. I'm gonna paint this next guy a mixture of white and black and some reds. That's what I kind of see his coat being. The last little guy I kept grays and blacks because he's kind of in a shadow so you can't really tell what colors he has on. To glue these guys in place, I start with some tacky glue and see if that's gonna work. I place my guy and realize that's not gonna happen, so I try to attach him with some air drying clay. This is gonna do the job. And I'm just gonna touch up the paint where I need to. Moving on to painting the background piece. I built this background from 1 8 wood and I cut it out of my Glowforge. I'm gonna paint this background using blue and white, making some clouds in the blue sky.
So now I'm getting out my Das air drying clay again. I'm gonna give some texture to the foreground area where the snow is and a little bit in the background area where I believe it's snow drifts. I sketch on the approximate line. I want my clay drying clay. <laughs> I, I sketch, I sketch on the approximate line where I want my clay drying. <laughs> I sketch on the approximate line where I want my A. I can't talk. I'm making a line of approximately where I want the air drying clay to end. There we go. Adding a little more paint to the foreground and then I'm going to glue down my rock guy. I'm now adding the snow surface to the rock guy and the base. I'm painting all the foreground white. Now it's time to add some snow texture. Thank you, Amazon, for busting up my snow little container here. Thankfully, I opened it carefully enough and was able to pour all the contents into another container. But here, gonna slap on some Mod Podge to the piece and then sprinkle that snow everywhere. And I'm also adding a little glitter to the snow because I think snow needs to have a little sparkle. Time to add the name of the album cover. I cut out my letters on my laser cutter, then used the cutout piece to line up the letters. It was a little tricky because the letters were so small. I missed some of the pieces on the first lift, but I made it work. Adding the rock climbing rope to finish up the project. Alright guys, it's time to hike up your socks and get ready for the reveal.